Good evening, my name is Daniel Fellows from everythingstephenking.com. I have decided, or I've been thinking about it for quite some time, about making my own uh, Stephen King video collection about all the Stephen King books and memorabilia and everything that I have that pertains to uh, Stephen King. So um, I was actually pulling it off the shelf just a short while ago. I've got other, a lot more than I thought I did. So. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'm going to quickly go through them. They won't be in chronological order, but these are the ones uh, that I have that are in book form. And, um, yeah, so here we go. Yeah, so like I said, they won't be in chronological order, but this is the first one that I have. It's um, an omnibus. This is actually the very first um, book that I've re I received. It was a part of my collection. This was a gift from my stepdad back, way back in the early 90s. Um... So I'm pretty sure I, Carrie was the first one I, what I read, but I wasn't too sure. But uh, needless to say, this is um, one of my favourite collections that I have. There is another one similar to this by um, Heinemann Octopus. And that one has these three, as well as Night Shift, the collection. The Talisman, I, um, I actually wasn't a fan of this book when I first read it many, many years ago, but I, uh, I'm definitely going to um, read it again uh, before I read The Black House, which I haven't read, so I'll get to that one soon. Then you got, you got The Skeleton Crew. Um, I love this collection. This is, um, I think this was one of my Double Day books that I got through, um, uh, like, through the mail. But uh, this is one of my favourites as well. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Well, this is one of his lesser known books as far as I'm aware. Um, I did like it. This, I thought this was very similar to, I don't know, Gerald's Game or Dolores Claiborne in that there was only one or two main characters. You know, Dolores uh, Gerald's Game's only got the, the one character this is all about the girl and her fears as she's uh lost through the woods everything's eventual this is um i can't remember when this was published but from memory this was not one of my favorites had some good good short stories in there but uh i prefer his earlier short stories and here we go got the the Black House, or Black House, sorry, with Peter Straub. I have not read this one yet, but uh, it's definitely on my reading list for this year. So I'm going to reread The Talisman and have a crack at this one. The Bizarre of Bad Dreams. I, I'm pretty sure I've read every single story in this one. There might have been one or two that I haven't read. I'm not too sure, but um, there, I've actually been marking them on the side. But... Um, this one's got some decent uh, short stories. Some of them were a bit iffy. I wasn't too sure on some of them, but uh, they were all pretty good. Uh, collection, Different Seasons. This is an awesome collection. I love this one. Um, yeah, I, I bought this book many, many years ago, back in the early nine, early to mid nineties, I reckon. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, I think, so we got, what do we, we got, uh, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption is one of my favourite stories. And then obviously Apt Pupil, which is um, about a, a student finding a, um, a Nazi war criminal. And uh, not exactly horror, but uh, oh, great, great. His third book, The Shining. Um, I haven't read this exact copy, but I have read this book. Um, I actually read it originally from this one, and uh, I just can't remember where I picked this one up from, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to reread this book, it was very, very good entertaining. I think he originally was going to call it The Shine, but um, his editor or his publisher said, no, let's call it The Shining, but it was, so it was almost called The Shine. Here we go, another collection, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I actually got this as soon as it was published in about 94. 
Um, I was working for Kmart at the time when I was in year 12. And um, this is a very good collection. One of my favourite stories, we've got um, The Moving Finger and Rainy Season. I love those, those stories. This is another one I bought when I was in high school. And uh, this is his first collection. Bit of a classic. Um, I'm not. I was actually reading, a, watching another um, a Stephen King collection just before I started to make this one, and this was um, not his favourite. But uh, I, I personally love these stories. Some of his earlier, earlier works. Got the dark half. Um, this is to me. This is classic King. This is. Um, I haven't read this one since I was in high school as well. But uh, yeah, excellent read that one. But dinner. This was the last Richard Bachman novel. He was um, found out after he published this one. And here I bought it from a second hand bookshop for four bucks. So I would love to buy a, um, a hardback of, of this. A friend of mine, his mum owned uh, a first edition the first edition of that book and I kept on joking for a long long time I said I'll buy it off her but she she said she would never ever part with it but uh, great read that one Time Knockers now I I enjoyed this book I really really did um, a lot of people I read it way back in, many many years ago and um, I've heard that a lot of people think it was long winded and uh, a lot of it was drug fueled, and they're probably right. But uh, looking back, I, I I enjoyed it. So um, yeah, but I'll, I'll definitely have to reread that one. This is the other four Richard Bachman novels. I bought this one back in the early early to mid nineties as well through the mail. It was um, I can't remember what it was called Double Day. I think it was called so Rage, The Long Walk. Road work, The Running Man. The Running Man is quite an, an interesting novel because he actually wrote that in one week. Some people say, or some sources say, a seventy-two hour period, but um, but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, some other sources say he read it, uh, wrote it in about a one week period. And and Raid, which was originally called Getting It On, was one of his first finished novels and that was almost accepted to be published before Carrie so what we got here we've got Just After Sunset another collection from memory I'm pretty sure I've read most of these stories as well um I've probably a few like The Gingerbread Girl I don't think I've read um yeah I've read most of them but um the ones I've read, I, I really enjoyed. There's some of his more, more recent ones. And then there was this one, Full Dark No Stars. Now, a few of these have been filmed and have become Netflix uh, movies, such as 1922. Big Driver has been filmed, so those two have been filmed. A Good Marriage has been filmed. And um, Under the Weather was quite a, a funny short story. But uh, 1922, very, very, very um, grim, I thought. Very dark. And uh, excellent, ex excellent writing, though. I really enjoyed it, but uh, I thought it was very, very dark. So we've got Four Past Midnight. Now, I'm not too sure where the cover went for this one. I think I must have been reading it somewhere and took the cover off. But um, this is um, an old classic. I really enjoyed this one. Langliers. I've actually... Um, been listening to that on the audiobook. So that's been filmed, that's been filmed. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Sun Dog's been optioned and then might be filming that one. So, but that's a great read. Firestarter. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one as well. I've been, uh, most of his earlier books I, I've thoroughly enjoyed. And um, yeah. The adaptation, the first one of them was decent, but all the others I thought were pretty bad. Especially the sequel. 
Um, the Dead Zone. This is a, another classic King. And uh, this is, I would say, my top top five books of his. I think my wife just said that earlier tonight that she wants to read this one. If you like the TV series that we were reading, uh, watching a few years ago. But uh, So here we go, another Richard Backman, which was published after the fact that he, um, after he was found out. And uh, oh, look at that, $34.95. That was, um, I actually wasn't too sure of that one. I actually bought this one alongside with, um, where is it, uh, Desperation. And um, obviously they're very, very similar books. But um, I wasn't too sure about that one. I'll, I'll, that's actually my reread list as well. Okay, Misery, another classic king. This is, um, this uh, to me, this has got a, quite an interesting history because he started writing this one night at a, at a hotel. He was, he asked the uh, hotel clerk if there was a, a quiet place for him to do a bit of writing and he, and he led him to a desk which he was told uh, once belonged to Rudyard Kipling and at which he died at. So, um, a bit interesting, The Eyes of the Dragon. I read this, oh, would have been in the 90s as well, many, many years ago, he, with one he wrote for his daughter, Naomi. And um, I think one of his only um, straight out fantasy novels. Cujo, I love this book. This is a great book. Um, he received a lot of um, hate mail over this one, the way it ended. But uh, yeah, great ending. Awesome book. He doesn't remember reading, uh, writing much of it. I put some of these ones out because these are um, all related. So you've got The Gunslinger, one, two, and three. Um, I would almost classify this as one of his collections because I'm pretty sure he wrote um, just individual parts to this at various times and, and put them together. Here's so the Gunslinger, the Way Station. I'm pretty sure they were written at various times. Um, so yeah, yeah, so Gunslinger, 78, the Way Station, 1980. 81 for that, 81 for that, and yeah, 81 for the last one, and then they were assembled later on, so that's almost a, a collection of short stories by itself. Then we, we got Walls of the Color, we got Wind Through the Keyhole, which I wasn't too, um, wasn't too impressed with that one. Song of Susanna, and the last one, The Dark Tower. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. So what do we got? One, two, three. That's six, five, missing four. Yeah, but um, excellent, excellent series. So I've got a couple of foreign ones which I'll do shortly. So we've got Dance Macabre and the Colorado Kid. This is one of his few non-fiction books. He does have on writing, of course, and a, a 10,000 word essay, which I'll get to shortly. But um, if you want to read about horror and the history of it and some analysis by King, um, that's, that's a must have, that's a great read. Now this book, The Colorado Kid, which spawned a, um, a TV series called Haven, loosely based on this, for me it was a very, very hard book to read. It, uh, I mean, the writing was amazing, but um, there's no real storyline to it. It's basically, obviously it's a, it's a hard case crime novel, but it, uh, if the writing was great, but I wasn't overly impressed with the story itself. Um, from Buick 8. I only read this a couple of years ago and it was all right. Um, the ending was a bit of a letdown, but it was, it was pretty decent. So, uh, Pet Cemetery. I only read this one last year. A great read, a, a classic King. Almost wasn't published. He's um, here to get out of the contract back in the early 
80s and he, this was one of his trunk novels and this is what he had and then we got uh, the 1978 version of The Stand I have not read this one I've read the um, the uncut one where he had to cut 50,000 words to to publish this one but um, I haven't read this one but I will do and this is the the version that I have read for the first time complete and uncut I think this one came out in about 92 an extra 50,000 words so this one so this is another version of the misery that I have this is um, my wife read this one last year she she thought it was really really good needful things I have yet to read this one it looks like I actually possibly started reading it but um, yeah yet to read it the whole thing and um, I heard it's really, really good. And we were talking about this, about this one earlier, Gerald's Game. Um, I might have to buy another copy, copy of this because uh, I must be moving. Oh, this, uh, these books have moved uh, a couple of places over the years and I've had the front cover ripped off, but excellent read. I read the, uh, sorry, watched the movie on Netflix and it was amazing, loved it. Very, very scary. So we've got Christine, another great read. I only read this um, for the first time, was it last year or late year before? Um, yeah, oh, this was an awesome read. And one of his most recent books is The Institute. And I technically haven't read it, but I listened to the audio book. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been compared to it and it and um, one of his other novels but uh, but yeah very very good oh, this is the other one Wizard and Glass from memory I, I did enjoy it it took me ages to get through but it was also quite a slow book uh, it took me ages to get through and um, but it had a, a pretty good um, well written love story between Roland and Su Suzanne, Susan, Delgado. We got a couple. So we got Blaze here. Have not read it. I've started it a few times. Um, I just, I just haven't been able to finish uh, like a few pages in, and um, I keep on stalling. But it's a uh, on my to do list as well. Sell. For me. One of his one of his worst books. I um I didn't like it. I um I, and then I did the silly thing of watching the movie, which is even worse than the book. Um, I heard that people have liked this book, but uh, for me, I, it was a it was, I thought it was terrible. Yeah, really really bad book. Um, even the story itself, uh, I didn't didn't like. Under the Dome. This um, love this book. This was an amazing book. Um, it gripped me right from the start. Um, we'll definitely read that one again. And here's the uh, companion to Regulators, Desperation. Um, I, I did enjoy this one. Bag of Bones. Haven't read it. I actually started it last night. So um, this is uh, one on my reading list for 2020. So I'll be taking that with me when I go back to work on Monday so we got Rose Matter this was um, in the top two books that I disliked this one and I'll get it and Insomnia these two books this, which were I think um, one after the other the Insomnia and then Rose Matter I think in the early 90s and I did not like either of them when I read them i read this one uh, a number of years ago and i thought yeah it's still uh a bad book but um i, I like the writing but just the story itself insomnia is on my list for this year just to reread it after you know nearly 25 years of after reading it for the first time and then the mr mercedes and that was the first book in the bill hollidge's trilogy um i, I did enjoy it it was all right Revival. I have started it a couple of times, 
have yet to read it. I've been told this is one of the best endings he's he's written. A friend of mine has read it and he says it's really, really good. So that's definitely on my to-do list. I need another copy of this one. I've, um, I have, actually technically, I haven't finished it. I've, I've got maybe a few pages right at the very end to read, but um, I did enjoy the, the stories. Obviously, I've seen the, the the adaptation. I think it was of um, low men in low men in yellow coats, and um, yeah. So I will read that one. Obviously, I read this one many many years ago. This was a, this is an updated version or updated copy, and um, I plan to reread this one. This was one of his um, best books in my books. Um, this was an amazing read. And his JFK book. This is one I I just call it JFK book. Um, Eleven twenty two sixty three because the Americans do their dates back to back, back uh, backwards. So um, I call this his JFK book. But uh, I love this one. This was an amazing read. The TV series was very very good as well. And these are the other Bill Hodges Bill Hodges books. End of Watch, Finders Keepers. Have not read either of them, um, but I definitely will. And then obviously, there's the the Green Mile books. I re read these when they first came out, as they were coming out, because they were getting released one a month. And um, uh, Charles Dickens uh, inspired him to write these ones, because uh, back in the day, that's how they would um, publish their books that will serialize them so what have we got here we've got dr sleep and lazy story have not read this one i intend to love this book and i just recently watched the movie the movie was absolutely amazing loved it so me and my wife watched um the shining and and then the very next day we watched uh, dr sleep in the cinemas and uh, I have I have started this uh, oh many years ago, but I just haven't finished it. So it's on my reading list. Yep. Stephen King, Sleeping Beauties, Owen King. Um, I I did like this book. However, I thought it was a bit long winded for what it is. Um, there wasn't really much of a storyline. Didn't like the end, the ending. And yeah, so um, there's not much to tell about this one, but uh, it was all right. I didn't mind it. Um, so it's, I mentioned this one earlier, Nightmares in the Sky, which is actually a, it's just an essay, a 10,000 word essay with um, <laughs> gargoyle photographs by a photographer, F. Stop Fitzgerald. So I have not read it, um, but yeah, so, I'd like to read it one day. So there's a couple of things. This is, I should include, include this in my next video. This is just a, more of a graphic novel based on one of his short stories. Um, Stephen King's N, which is uh, like a Lovecraftian uh, story. But um, have not read it. And there are actually um online video uh yeah movies based on this like episodic things on youtube that are available so i've got a couple of screenplays as well so this was not written by stephen king the green mile by frank darabont but it's based on his book i think i bought this off um amazon so and then this one was by Stephen King. And um, one of these days I'm going to watch the movie and follow the, uh, follow the movie with it. But um, yeah. And it's got a, an introduction by the author as well. So Dolores Claiborne, loved that book. Absolutely loved it. Joyland, I struggled to get through this one. It, um, I don't know what it was, but um, I, it took me ages to read. It's only a thin book, but it um, took me a while. Another hard case crime novel, but I wasn't too impressed with that one. And then we got Cycle of the Werewolf. More, um, 
you could read this in one sitting. It's um, illustrated by Bernie Wrightson, a bit of a classic. And then we've got a few other shorter pieces. So we've got, this is more of a novella, Blockade, or they're all novellas, Blockade Billy, which is in one of his other collections, Elevation, and Wendy's Button Box, which is a, a collaboration, Stephen King and Richard Chisma. Now, apparently, Richard Chisma just recently, I think late last year in 2019, released a book just by him with an introduction by Stephen King. I think it's called Gwendy's Magic Feather or something, which I will read. Um, I think that's one of the, maybe the second book ever to be released um, based on something else by, by King. Um, the other one was, um, so much was Rose Red by Ridley Pearson from memory. This, uh, book edited, book of short stories, edited by Stephen King and Bev Vincent. It has one short story by King, um, and the others are by various other authors. One of them is by his son. Where is it? So, The Turbulence Expert is by Stephen King. And there's one by Joe Hill somewhere, I think. Yeah, Ambrose Pearson. Joe Hill, you are released by his son. So, yeah, I mean, I've read um, Stephen King's version. There's actually a video online way, you know, way back in the 1980s talking about um, an idea which became that short story, you know, something like 30 years later. So, um, yeah, I've only read one or two of that and here's some other ones so we've got creep show um classic came out in the what early 1982 from memory and i bought this this is one of them my first in the collection as well it's a tribute to um a tribute to is it marvel no marvel ec comics i think it is but yeah, I really enjoyed that. And they've uh, just done a Creepshow TV series, which is out now. This one is a um, the first take of Under the Dome. So he released this on his website. He's still on his website, if I'm not correct. And and this is uh, a number of chap uh, pages and chapters. So there are uh corrections and i'm pretty sure it's on two or three parts on his website and it's called um i think it's called the cannibals so if you type type in uh, the cannibals on his website you should be able to come up with this in a uh, as a pdf i've yet to read it. i've read uh, some of it and uh, I, I really enjoyed it but this is the uh, the precursor to under the dome doesn't actually happen in the whole town but it happens in a, an apartment building so um i still yet to read that and um yeah so that's my stephen king collection there is another one out there which i forgot to, it wasn't in the normal area of my stephen king books and that was the outsider which i have read and as of tomorrow the stephen king uh the, um the movie version of The Outsider is released. So yeah, this is a part one of my Stephen King collection.